Hello everybody, it's me again. I am here today with a reading, a career life reading on whether you should quit your job and pack your bags uh, or if you should stick it out and the reasoning behind all this. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, also, just in case you haven't watched my videos before, I am a spiritual life advisor. So all my links and all that stuff are in the description. Subscribe if you like, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Alright, this is group one, this is group two, this is group three, this is group four. I usually do three, but we're going to try doing four today. Alright, let me just get some energy first. <laughs> Alright, I like where this is going. Should you quit your job and pack your bags? Well, don't be that impulsive. Um, you know, let's be responsible. We have kids, we have families, we have mouths to feed and everything like that. But I am seeing that you have your guides around you, spirit is around you, and they are waiting for you to take that leap. They are patiently waiting for you to take that leap. Always be responsible. Um, I am a, a very responsible person, Moon in Virgo, so I always advise people before they take that leap to just make sure that if there was anything to happen that they'd have life savings and stuff like that that would be able to help them if for any reason something bad were to happen. But I do see that your spirit is, um, your angels, your, your spirit guides, everything that you believe in, God is waiting for you to take that leap and they are ready to grab you um, when you do. So, that's a very good indication. This is a very positive pile. Seeing you need to rest. So, I feel like you've been overworking. These are, I feel like a lot of people that pick this card are my, I don't want to say middle range, but jobs that require a lot of work and are more manual labor than, um, you know, more manual physical. I'm seeing people with EMT cars. I'm seeing people that are uh, in like, you know, uniforms or EMT. Basically like that, if you work at a, uh, like, if you work at a restaurant, if you work as a cashier, this is the group that I'm seeing. Um, this, this is for a lot of my viewers. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, but a lot of my viewers have been overworked and underpaid in this group. That's what I'm seeing, and it's time for you to fill your cup I'm sure if I got a clarifier, should I get a clarifier? I feel like I should get a clarifier for this group. Um, you need to fill your cup before you fill anybody else's. This is the time where you need to take care of yourself. It's saying rest. You need to stop overworking yourself. This is the time where you need to just take a rest, just take a break, take a breather for yourself. Worry about yourself because your job, they think you're replaceable. Um, this is a general, what I'm saying, but if you, anytime you work for somebody else, they know that um, unless you have a very high up job that they can replace you. So always take care of yourself first because a company or a job, their first priority is themselves. You need to make your first priority yourself. So rest up, that's what I'm seeing. Self care, this goes hand in hand with rest. You need to take care of yourself. You need to fill up your cup first and then you can fill up others. So I'm gonna see you guys, my group number ones. Alright, I'm just gonna ask Spirit to please have two. Let me see. This is two? Yeah, this is two. This is two or three? Alright. I actually got three cards for you guys. Energy. Spend time with the people around you. This is what I'm getting. Um, spend time with your support system. Connect to people. I'm actually really getting that you need to connect to the earth with this card. I'm seeing that you need to connect to things that are around you. Moments, I'm hearing moments go by so fast. That's what I'm hearing right now. Um, so maybe if you have kids, 
uh, anything that's, you know, very young and beautiful and something that won't last forever, you need to take advantage of it. Um, not take advantage, but you need to enjoy it because these moments go so fast. That's the message I'm hearing from spirit right now. See, forgive. See, you need to forgive. Forgive yourself for letting yourself be overworked. Forgive yourself. Forgive others, and you need to release all the negative energies and um, mindsets that go along with the fact that you think you need to work this hard, or that you basically need to give, get rid of, um, you need to put your self needs to the side in order to, um, how do you say, oh, I can't even think today. You need to forgive yourself for putting yourself second in a workplace situation, a romantic situation. But I'm seeing this is usually, I mean, I'm seeing this is more about work. So you need to forgive yourself for putting yourself second. And you need to understand that you are abundant. And you need to understand that you're um, who you are. There's no price on that. You need to take care of yourself. Um, and you need to forgive yourself for letting yourself maybe be a, getting advantage, taking advantage for at work, taking advantage for, um, is it the word taking advantage, taking it for granted, taking it for granted for at work and working extra hard for not enough pay or not enough whatever your um, currency or ex energetic exchange is. Forgive yourself, put more boundaries up. Birth and a new idea. I feel like this is a card that a lot of my future entrepreneurs probably have picked that are waiting to take the leap. Um, yeah, I'm seeing the birthing of a new idea. So, um, this is definitely the time where you are in the process. You're ready to take that leap, and Spirit wants you to know that they are right by your side. It's, it's time to take care of yourself. It's time that you finally put yourself first instead of putting your job first. So that's what I'm getting for my group number one. To connect to nature is a big one, and I want you guys to know that um, I'm definitely on the same boat with you here. I've been in situations like that, so you're not alone. Uh, for my group number ones, I wish you the best of luck. Spirit is on your side. And um, yeah, right now I would just be getting myself ready for um, saving up money and you know stuff just for you to take that leap um, and basically go and fly. So this is my group number twos. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just grabbing some energy here. <coughs> yeah, there is a lot of passion in this card. Every time I see red, I think passion. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fiery energy here. Oh, we actually have the word fire here. But when I see all reds, I'm seeing passion, fire. Um, and I'm also seeing that um, uh, we are going... Oh, this is a very intense situation. Uh, whoever picked group number two, I'm, sh I'm getting that there is an intense situation going on with you. Uh, there's a lot of clatter, is that the word? I get words from spirit sometimes, but I don't even know what the heck it means. Clatter? Scattered. Scattered energy. There's energy everywhere fixing everything. You are, uh, a lot of my group number twos might feel like they wear, wear many hats in their workplace. I'm getting you have power, you have power in your workplace, whether that be, um, with your boss, if you are the boss, um, having that you have a power. Do I think you should quit your job and um, uh, go and fly your wings? I'm getting no. I actually wrote the word no here a long time ago and I completely forgot about it, but I'm taking it as a sign. Is there another no here? Hold on. No, there. That's it, basically. <laughs> No reversals for this. This is so weird. I usually always get reversals. Okay, so I am not seeing that you should um, quit your job and get everything um, basically, you know, just leave everything. I'm not seeing that. It 
it's time for you to get you need to get some energies in order there's a lot of scattered energy here um yeah i'm seeing that you really you, my group number two is really need to get everything in order um and basically figure out what they need to do i'm seeing a lot of people in group number two are very impulsive and i'm i want to tell my group number two that you cannot be impulsive in a situation you need to stick it out just to get yourself in a more stable mindset um once you get to more stability i um yeah, there's a lot of scattered energy here. You need to ground yourself more. We're getting a lot of red, so that usually tells me that we need to ground ourselves more before we make a leap. So my group number two is you need to get grounded. Um, you need to look at things stably. Stably. You need to look at things, you know, more realistically. I'm getting a lot of passion and fiery energy, though. Um, yeah, so I'm not saying that you should take that leap for now. But um, this is a card an indication that you guys really need to get your energies and get grounded. Alright, for my group number threes, I feel like automatically you have been giving yourself, have been giving a lot of yourself, giving your energy and giving your time and your life force something that is just draining you this is just draining this is draining energy right here I have abundance in reverse so whatever situation you're in you're being drained right now <clears throat> you might work with children yeah I'm seeing that um this might be a pile of the people that work with kids, work in the school system, something along those lines. You might have children that are draining you. I'm hearing mistakes happen. I don't know what, what that, that means. It's just the word I'm hearing from spirit that mistakes happen. Maybe you thought that this, um, something didn't go according to plan with this job. You had a vision for it and it didn't exactly work out the way you saw it in your vision. Seeing changes coming. So this might be voluntary, this might be involuntary, but change is on your horizon. I just want to get a couple of clarifiers for this deck because I feel like this is the one of the decks that needs some clarifiers. Okay. I want to pull out two cards. Two cards. Just have them fall out at me. Come on, guys. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Like, all right. This is the same thing that happened with group number one. I asked for two cards, and I got three. Always. Oh, all right. You. Okay. This makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. You're being drained. You need to find boundaries. These are both red. These are both root chakra. Um, you need to get rid of your anxiety about your beach job. I feel like these are a lot of the people that pick this group let themselves. I, you know, I hate to say it, but let's just be real. You know, you're being taken for granted. You know that. Um, what's going on right now ain't right in no way. We need to learn boundaries. I'm seeing that your boundaries are being tested, your boundaries are being manipulated. Manipulated, not even in a conscious way. It could be subconscious, you know, people need things from you, they care, they always think about themselves before you. You know, I'm seeing you need boundaries here. Yeah. I'm getting the defeat. Your cups are spilling out, my love. Your cups are spilling out. This is your life force. This is your energy. This is what you have inside that belongs to you. You are being defeated. I'm 
So my group number three. I'm seeing that you. And I never want to encourage my viewers to put themselves in a situation that um, isn't doesn't at least have a backup plan. But I'm telling you to get your backup plan in order because I'm seeing that there's change coming, and um, you need to get ready for this change. So the question was, should you quit your job and pack your bags and go on voyage? I'm seeing get ready because you might. This is a definite, this is a definite get ready card. Because what's going on right now? This ain't working. This ain't working. We don't want this. We don't want this. We need to learn boundaries. Look at this beautiful card. We need to learn boundaries. And I know you see it. I see the eye here. I know that you see what's going on. Don't be too nice. Don't be too nice. I always say, whenever you work for somebody, you always get the short end of the stick. I hate to be negative, but let's just be honest here. Um, I'm not saying whatever. Of course, there's bosses that are very, very nice and, you know, treat you fairly. But... It's time. We need to, we, my group number threes need to get it in order. Get their stuff ready, get their, get ready to take a leap. Okay, my group number fours. I'm seeing a lot of my group number fours are coming in contact with their shadow selves. They're seeing aspects of themselves that um, uh, they're they're starting to see aspects of themselves that they try to ignore. They're try they're starting to see their shadow aspects. That's what I'm seeing. Your cups are being filled. You are being supported. So this tells me that whatever decision you make. So crazy. Whatever decision you make, you're being supported by family, by your spirit guides, your angels. You are being supported, your cups are being filled. So I'm feeling this is a more stable group of people. Um I'm seeing a lot of stability for this group of people. It might be, you know. The daily grinds, everybody gets beat down. Everybody has, you know, we all think the grass is greener, but I'm seeing that this is actually a stable, pretty stable um, group. I want to get some firefighters here. Should be this back. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it's a good Alright, so we're going to come in contact with the cards already pulled before, that's why. <laughs> Alright, I always say, please give me two cards. I can give me three all day. So let's see if I can get two. I don't know, why don't we even ask anymore? Trust and we got truth. I'm gonna try and get some energy from that. There's a lot of lies going on. I'm seeing injustice from some of my viewers. There's some injustice going on. Um, and I'm not sure if this is legally. Or um, something has been put in a situation where the truth wasn't spoken, they didn't get their fair share, justice was not served in some situation. Mind you, this is the message, these are the words that I'm getting in my ear from spirit.
getting some energy right now. I'm seeing that your time, your energy of grieving and being defeated, that's passing. It's almost over, if not over already. You've had your time to grieve, you've had your time to be upset, and the energy of that is lessening. <coughs> I feel like a lot of my group number fours have just been actually in some type of breakup. I'm seeing some type of breakup or work relationship that may have made them um, not want to work where they're going because I'm seeing that something was there and It's affected and impacted them on their work situation where they just want to change. This energy is not as intense as all my other cards. I'm seeing that this is this might have been something um, this might have This might have been a work situation where if this does not resonate with you, just like I'm getting a few messages right now. Um, this might have been a work situation where you had a romantic relationship with somebody at your job and since the romantic relationship is over or um, something happened with the romantic relationship, you are waiting for a change, you're ready to quit your job, you're ready to move away, you're ready to spread your wings. And, I mean, I'm seeing this as a very stable group. I want you to know that you're supported. Should you pack up your bags, spread your ways, and go? I'm seeing that's your decision. Uh, it's not... I'm seeing that you definitely would be able to pack your bags and flap your wings, and you'd be supported and love and abundance in every way possible. I'm seeing lawyers. It's like... Uh, there might have been a legal case that had to do with this group. Um, I'm definitely seeing there, for some of my viewers watching this, there was a legal case. But I want you to know that you're supported. If you do decide to leave your position, if you decide to leave your job, and spread your wings, you're supported. And um, I'm seeing this is your call. I want you to know that the energy of grieving is finally lessening. You won't be feeling that for much longer. This energy is passing, and we are. Brighter things are ahead of us. This might have been a situation that. I'm seeing this is one situation that has made a lot of my viewers want to leave their job. Uh, it was a fucked up situation. And this is why they went, yeah, I'm seeing this is just basically not something that has added up during time. I'm seeing this is just something that was big. Now they want to leave their job. I'm getting your supported and the energy of grieving and being fucked over, that's lessening. And um, I'm, I am seeing that they're, you're going to find love again, whether that be career, romance. Uh, this is an oracle deck. <laughs> this is not supposed to be a love reading, but I am seeing that you are going to get love again. You are going to find love again, whether that be career, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, love is in the air for you, and it's in your horizons. Okay, my group number fours, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and comment down below, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Alright, bye guys.